Today, we're back with the wheel. So if you've never seen the wheel before, basically there's a bunch of good things and a bunch of bad things on the wheel. For example, we might terraform a planet or we might draw with lasers on the planet. Okay, so today we are doing the wheel versus Jupiter. Here's our planet Jupiter. Today we're gonna see what happens to it. Are we gonna terraform it? Are we gonna destroy it? Is it gonna be a lot better, a lot worse? Let's find out. All right, so here's our first spin deciding what we're doing to Jupiter. Meteor shower. Okay, so to do a meteor shower, let's see, what's the best way to do this? We can go and pause time and then we'll get a bunch of random asteroids, launch them at Jupiter, and I will make a bunch of them go into Jupiter at the same time. And these are all going to be about the same distance away, so they should all hit Jupiter about the same time. Okay, here we go. Okay, so that's a bunch. You can see all the little the little asteroids I put. So we're just going to slow down time before and then let them all collide with Jupiter and we'll see what happens here. Okay, it looks like some of them might collide before some of the other ones. Okay, here they come. All of them hitting Jupiter at the same time. You can see they are really small. Like look at the shadow of this one. Here we go. Let's see if it really does anything at all. Jupiter's pretty big. Okay, so we got a lot of red spots around it now. So those are all the little collisions. Oh, you could see some fragments shooting out. That one was probably a little bigger. Let's speed up time and see what happens. <laughs> uh, absolutely nothing. Jupiter is a beast and can handle a lot before anything really bad happens to it. Okay, here we go. Spin two. Let's see what we're doing now. Ooh, remove atmosphere. Okay, so Jupiter doesn't have an atmosphere. So what we're gonna do instead, or at least Universe Sandbox doesn't simulate an atmosphere. We're going to remove all of the hydrogen off the planet and have it be more silicate and iron, which will basically turn this into a rocky planet. Even though it still has the same bands and it looks like Jupiter, it is a rocky planet technically, not a gas giant anymore. Okay, so let's see what we do now. Draw a smile. Okay. Oh, oh, yeah, yeah. Draw a smile. Okay, so to draw a smile, we do actually use the laser tool. So we can use, let's pause time for this. You can use the laser tool. You can see it starting to heat up here. We're going to need something a lot more powerful. Here we go. Okay, here's our, our Jupiter smiley face. Oh, we're heating up the whole planet. Okay, let's see if I destroyed it on accident. Uh, we're going to slow down time. Okay, no, it didn't get destroyed. That's good, that's very good. Oh my gosh, okay, so if it's facing away from the sun and you don't get the surface lit up, it just looks like a giant glowing smile because we have that side which is towards the sun and then the far side is just completely lit up by this smile. And it's probably so bright, it looks really bright over here too. Let's see it come around, yes. All right, let's see what's next on the wheel. Gas giant, okay, so we're gonna add back our gas to it and see if the smiley face remains here so if we add back our hydrogen we'll just add a little bit so it's still so it's now back to a gas giant and it does look like it transfers the heat onto the hydrogen layer and the smiley face is still here i want to i'm excited to see what it'll look like after it cools down Ooh, okay upside down so we're gonna turn jupiter upside down so our smiley face is now gonna be completely reversed turn it upside down i don't think this will have any real effect it just kind of looks cool and it is cool whoa it looks so weird because like we're used to jupiter being a certain way interesting global warming okay so we're gonna have to heat up the surface in a way that's not cheating i guess because global warming's like atmospheric heating so let's see if there's a way oh my gosh look at the look at the heat map it's just you can just see the smiley face okay um what's the best way to do this here we can't really adjust the atmosphere mass while it's a gas giant so i'm actually going to remove it and make it a not a gas giant again so we can have access to some of this stuff and we can do this thing called atmosphere layers oh my gosh the smiley face Turn this up and it'll add more layers and it should really just start heating up like crazy. Okay, that's a pretty thick atmosphere. It doesn't seem to, maybe it's too far from the sun. It can't heat up. Let's just move it closer to the sun then. Jupiter, you are now closer than Earth. Okay, to make sure it doesn't just crash into the sun though, we're gonna, we're gonna auto orbit it. So it is in orbit of the sun. Hopefully this helps us get a higher temperature. It's slowly heating up. 
Okay, I have the max amount of atmosphere layers. Let's see if it heats up ever. Very, very slowly. If I just set it to like 400, let's see what happens. So it is, it is a little bit warmer now, and I think that will be good. <laughs> oh my gosh. Swap mass. Okay, so to swap mass, we have to figure out which object we're gonna swap the mass with. I have this other wheel here with celestial objects, and we're gonna spin this one and figure out which object we're swapping mass with. So whatever this wheel lands on is the mass I will give to Jupiter. Oh no. Oh, it's not HD 100546B. It is a random rocky planet. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna pull up a random rocky planet. Well, it's paused, so nothing really happens. Go random rocky planet. We'll put it right here and Let's see what mass this has. This has a mass of 0.5 Earths. So now we go to Jupiter and we're gonna give Jupiter 0.55 Earths. So Jupiter just got a lot smaller and I guess it's probably better for life at this size. So we'll see, maybe eventually it will get fully terraformed. Oh, are we gonna get terraformed? No way, dude, terraform it. Okay, so we are gonna try our best now to get Jupiter to have a good chance of life on it. It doesn't have to be exactly like Earth, but the closer we can get, the better. So first of all, this heating is not gonna be it. We're gonna need our average temperature to be about 14. If we stabilize temperature first and then set this to 14, this should help a lot with our heating differences, except the North Pole is now absolutely zero. It's okay, it'll level out over time. Don't worry about it. Okay, our atmosphere is gonna be way too thick right now. We're gonna set it to one Earth's atmosphere and then our atmosphere layers just set it to one. Okay, so that's already looking a lot better. I wonder if we do have a chance of life right now. Okay, zero. We might need a tiny bit of water. The problem is I think because it was a gas giant we kind of, um, it's like really smooth because there's no real land mass. So it's really like all dry or all water. So I guess we'll go with all water and that puts us at 77.6%, which is very, very, very good, especially because it was Jupiter. Uh, so I guess that is a terraform Jupiter. I mean, I could like, you know, draw continents and stuff, but that that is a basic terraform on Jupiter. Ooh, moon swarm. Okay. so. Universe Sandbox has a built-in moon swarm feature in its rings panel. We have our terraformed Jupiter here now. We're gonna go to the rings panel and then we can find the moon swarm right here. So we're gonna pause time and add the moon swarm onto Jupiter. So here's a bunch of moons that it spawns around Jupiter. Uh, so basically we're just gonna play time and see what happens to everything here. So a lot of these moons are gonna collide with each other, but they should all eventually collide into Jupiter or I guess they get launched out. Let's see, okay, so moon nine here is about to collide. And that, oh, whoa, all the frag, that shot off a lot of fragments and a lot of dust and everything. So, okay, that probably ruined our life likelihood, but it does have a chance to recover after all of this. Yes, okay, so one of them, one of the moons is now an actual moon of uh, our terraformed Jupiter. So let's speed up time and see if, uh, see if Jupiter survives, really. So it looks a lot more dead, but those collisions will give Jupiter some depth instead of it just being flat, which could help if we add some water back to it. Okay, our life likelihood is 0.04%. So there's a very, very small chance of life. Also, I think it still needs to cool down a little bit. So let's let it cool down. Okay, so it's stabilizing, getting around 100 Celsius, which is still very warm. That put us at 14.9%. Oh, look, you can see some of the water is still here. Let's add some water. It still seems pretty smooth, actually. It doesn't look super smooth, but it, oh, it is kind of weirdly shaped, actually kind of cool and we got moon five there as its moon actually a very circular orbit for how it came to be let's spin the wheel again Ooh, oh no this may be the end for jupiter crush into a black hole so what we're going to try to do is keep the mass exactly the same as it is right now we're not going to change its mass we're only going to change its radius and that will change its density so uh, you can imagine it like we are keeping everything there, but we're just crushing it. I don't know why the water is moving. That's kind of weird. So we're going to lock the mass. So if you, you see these little things, you can click lock and this mass won't change now. So all the same stuff is there. We're just crushing it smaller and smaller. So you can see the limited amount of water on the surface starts to cover it all. And we're going to keep crushing it smaller and smaller. 
until eventually, if it gets really, really small, like very, very, very small. Okay, they're kind of binary, even though the mass is still the same. So it's about, the radius is about 50 kilometers right now, going down even smaller, five kilometers. One kilometer. Okay, so just for scale, I'm gonna put Earth next to this so you can see how small we crushed Jupiter. Here is the Earth. Oh, oh, don't play time. And there is Jupiter. I gave it a lot of heat by doing that. So let's keep crushing it. It's like super hot right now, but we're gonna keep, let's set its temperature back to normal. Keep crushing it till eventually it will turn into a black hole because there's a point where the density is so strong that the gravity in this small point is so high that not even light can escape it. And that's when it's a black hole. It is six millimeters and it's still not a black hole. There we go. Okay, so about 6.3 millimeters big. That's like, I don't even know, that big. Crushed Jupiter. I mean, it wasn't full Jupiter, but down to that size, that's, so this is a tiny black hole. I wonder if we could put like a, like a pool ball next to it so you can kind of see the scale. Look at the size. Okay, here is a pool ball. It is smaller than a pool ball, our black hole. It's like a little black hole this big, but the mass on it is insanely high and it's still at that size going to keep this moon in orbit. Watch this, keeping it in orbit, crazy. And this is a full size moon, like our moon. It's even bigger, it's almost two moons and it's keeping it in orbit, that is crazy. Okay, it's still technically here though, so it's not destroyed. So let's find out. Oh, here we go. Add rings. Okay, so we're gonna add rings. This kind of will look like an accretion disk, I think. Actually, I don't know if we can add rings because it's so small. We're gonna try right now. Oh my gosh, it just added one ring particle. Oh no, it added a bunch, look. Okay, and then I think it just sucked them all up. I think it is too small. Like even the smallest ring particles are gonna be way bigger than Jupiter is. Okay, so for our final test today, I'm gonna launch the Earth into our Jupiter here. And this will be our final test of what we have turned Jupiter into. So here it comes. We have our moon and the Jupiter. I wonder if Jupiter's gravity is strong enough to start ripping chunks off of the Earth. Maybe the Earth will devour Jupiter? Oh, no, Jupiter won. It just disappeared, but this should have added a ton of mass to this. Yeah, it did. So, I mean, Universe Sandbox can't simulate the, the actual collision. So that was kind of anticlimactic, but just imagine that it, get ripped, it gets ripped apart and Jupiter eats it all. There is our Jupiter versus the wheel. Leave down in the comments what object you want to be versus the wheel next. I'll see you guys next time. Thank you for watching.